It's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day. And Hannah and I are back in, in where are we? Rancho Santa Fe. Uh, remember, we were here in September, so it's now mid-January. Four months, haven't been here, and I thought I would show you a couple of things. Uh, and talk about one, you know, these uh, containers that we planted four months ago haven't been touched. Uh, they're not irrigated. Um, the client may have slopped some water on them with a hose from time to time, I'm not sure, but they have held up beautifully with one notable exception. The Tradescantia, no bueno. For whatever reason, that plant in every single pot we put it in tanked. Not uh, not sure, but it happens. You know, it just doesn't. I'll know. I know now not to use Tradescantia here in Rancho Santa Fe, but everything else is absolutely thriving. So I feel really good about that. You know, another thing. You put, some of you are going to ask me what kind of aloe is this? It is a ferox, and look at the blooms. So spectacular. Let's also talk about microclimate. This is why you don't necessarily want to go matchy-matchy with your containers. See how we planted both of these out the same with the Dazzlerian longissimum and the Portolacaria afrovirigata. And this one over here is much larger than this one here because apparently, obviously, this one gets what? More sun. So these are never going to match. And the disparity, I think, is gonna to continue to become more and more obvious. Now, this is not necessarily the permanent homes for these planters, but I wanted to point that out to you if you're thinking about your own spaces to not necessarily try to plant things exactly the same because you're gonna get different results. This has been Laura Eubanks reporting from Rancho Santa Fe with your succulent tip of the day.